Hello everyone, this video is about Redux Toolkit. So we will learn the Redux uh, Toolkit uh, from scratch. Okay, what is the Redux and what is the Redux Toolkit? How to use it and we will create a, an example for that. Okay, we will create a login system in the dashboard and then we will access the user information uh, using Redux uh, Toolkit. So first of all, the Redux is a store, to man store management, state management tool uh, for ReactJS or any other uh, JavaScript library. So the Redux just manage the state. Okay, for example, uh, we have this user information. Okay, and we want to access this user information in all the components. Okay, before Redux, we were just passing. For example, uh, we had the information in this component. We were passing from this to this to this end to this one. Okay, that was uh, very hard. Okay, to pass that and also for the performance of website. So due to Redux, so now we can easily manage our state. Okay, we can easily access this user information in all components. So ever, for example, we have uh, 10, 15, 20 components. So we can access this all um, in every component, wherever we want to use this. Okay, so in this video, we will use the Redux toolkit. Um, the Redux was a little bit harder for the coder that needed uh, some um, extra code is and uh, the Redux toolkit became to the uh, ground and to make that easier for coder okay so in this video we will just create our example through Redux toolkit so this is for example this is the user information and we want to access them in this main area okay for example we like it successfully then we come to the dashboard then we come to the main uh, this area okay and we want to access this user information so for that to access that uh, using Redux toolkit so first we need to create a store okay we want to create a store and when, whenever we want to access those information we can access uh, directly from that store okay those information so now let's come here to show you this example okay for example we have this okay um uh, this is an example login whenever we log into the system and we when, when we um, move to the dashboard and here in that dashboard we should display our user information okay whenever we um, log in successfully we should display the information if there were no information so we will we will display a message no user information so this is an example okay i have already created this example so we will just implement redux toolkit okay we will create the, the redux from scratch okay every step we, we will explain you every step in that so these are the components that we have okay first of all the app.jsec where we have our uh, react router dom okay our set of that this is for the login and this is for the dashboard and this is the content the main area uh, let's move to the dashboard this is the login okay the login component and this is the uh, dashboard one okay in the dashboard we have sidebar in the main content this is the content and this is the sidebar so now let's start a redux toolkit okay to access user information whenever we log into the system and we want to access those information in this content component okay this is called here in the dashboard and whenever we log in successfully then we move to the uh, dashboard component okay here whenever we log in successfully so let's come here so first of all we need to create a store okay so to create the store let's come here we will create just a store store.jsx inside this uh, store we will just call uh, configure um, yeah before that first of all we need to install uh, these uh, uh, packages okay i have already installed them npm install at redux these components okay i will show you in the package.json file these are the libraries that we should uh, install react redux this one and also this one art redux toolkit this one copy this one okay you want to just install this one and also react redux so for the redux toolkit we need these two packages to install okay after installing these so now let's create our store so let's first of all import the configure store import configure store from a redux toolkit okay so after importing the configure uh, store so now let's uh, define our store let's come here const store uh, is equal to configure store and inside that uh, we will just define our reducer okay let's write the reducer right now we didn't create it our uh, reducer so we will create it later okay then we will assign that here to this reducer so it was all about our store so now let's export it 
export default store okay just we need to just assign our reducer here okay the store um, component has completed so now let's create our reducer in actions before redux toolkit in the redux we were just uh, defining them separately in the uh, separate files but uh, um, in the redux toolkit we just uh, use the create slicer okay to define them okay so now let's move to that and i will create a folder or i will just directly create a new uh, component and name it user slice the jsx I name it like this okay so now let's import the um, create slice from redux toolkit import create slice okay create slice from redux toolkit and after that let's define the initial state um, the initial state would be console initial state is equal to let's define it a user we would like to access the user information and the default state is null okay right now we don't have any user and let's come here and let's define our user slice const user slice is equal to create let's call create slice and let's define the properties of that the first one is the name let's assign it a name uh, for example the name is user and the initial state then and after that let's define our reducers okay reducers and for that let's um, create our functions do uh, do we first of all we want to set a user okay to set a user let's create this function set user so we will get a state this is the previous state and in action what we want to perform this is the action okay that we want to perform and now let's what we want um, to to do with our user whenever we call this set user function so then we want to set our user okay we want to assign the values to the user that we had so let's write state dot user this state is our state that we have okay and state dot user to this user okay assign to that that is uh, equal to and we will uh, uh, assign action dot payload okay the data that we passed that will be in the action so we will just action dot payload we will assign those all data that we have passed here so to this user so that will be stored in this user and the second method would be um, if we want to uh, clear uh, for example the user so yeah we we just need to call this one okay just set user this method we will call it okay this one is um, enough so this was let's export them so to export them first of all let's write export uh, const uh, we want to export those methods set user we will export it from is equal to user slice dot actions it is in action with us and we exported this set user action okay we want to we will use it later okay to set our user and also let's uh, export the reducer export default a user slice dot reducers reducer okay we will just export it also uh, after uh, writing this code okay this was our slice that we has created and we created our function the reducers and actions and we will use it later okay so now let's just uh, import this uh, uh, user reducer inside our store so just come here import user reducer from that slash slash user slice okay after importing that so now let's use it here okay let's uh, assign a name it to user user reducer yeah we did our store also so now let's wrap our components um, through our provider let's provide provide the provider so to use the provider we need to import the provider and also the um, uh, store from this store okay let's first of all import the provider provider from react redux okay that is react redux and also let's import um, store from store okay yeah that is default so we don't need these curly braces 
so now let's wrap all our components these components okay login and dashboard through this provider or we can use it in also in our main.jsx okay we can just wrap this up uh, through that provider also but i will write that here i will just write provider let's cut it and come here down and just assign store store let's store is equal to with store that we have okay so after providing this store so now all these components can access this store okay that we has created so now let's move to our login page whenever we login we would like to set uh, uh, this user information okay whenever we press the login button so we should set the this user information so just come here to the login and to use that and whenever we press the submit button okay whenever we press the submit button we will call this method let's i will show you that we will call this uh, um, submit button okay whenever we call this uh, function so here i will write the code to set that user information inside that store we have these two name and email and whenever we write something in that e let's show you whenever i am writing something in these value fields so i am storing those values inside this uh, um, name and email okay through this code okay through this unchanged event so now let's uh, first of all we will import the important components so inside this login first of all we will just import the use dispatch which is used to throw in action let's import it use dispatch from react redux and after that let's import the um, this uh, uh, sit user okay sit user this uh, method from um, user slice import set user from user slice after importing them so now let's create an instance of dispatch const dispatch is equal to use dispatch and after that let's just use call the dispatch dispatch and we will call um, a myth in the method method set user inside this okay set user and we will just pass the data that we want to store in that uh, user okay we will just pass uh, our name that we have and also the um, email okay this name and email will be passed to this method and whenever the data come here to this action so that will be a store action that will load to this state that user and now let's move just come here and So now the last step is just just to display the user information inside our dashboard our main content okay just come here to the content one okay here we will just display those information so first let's import the use selector here uh, from our react redux that is used to just access our data our store data so import use selector from react redux that is used to access our data so now let's uh, access our user so const user is equal to we will use use selector and we will just uh, create a method here we will get the state here and we will get just state that user that we had dot user it will move just and it will access this information from reduce user reducer user dot user okay user dot user okay it will access this user information and we store them in the inside this user so now let's if there was app not user if the user was not set so it will just return no user information if there was the data so then let's display that yeah, actually for user dot name and user dot email let's save it and let's move to chrome browser this is our login page so let's move first of all uh, to our dashboard no user information okay right now we have no user information this if we login 
and we write something inside this okay gmail.com and let's press the submit button uh, we didn't access our information inside our dashboard so let's check it what where is the error yeah everything is okay there is no error I just refresh the page and that worked okay I didn't make any changes whenever I refresh so that work okay so let's back to the Chrome page and refresh it and now let's enter the data user surf at gmail.com and let's press the submit button see we got this data okay yourself and yourself at gmail.com we got this data from our store okay we just use the use selector and we accessed our data from our store that we has created so it was an example for react redux so how to use the redux toolkit so there were just a few steps okay first of all create a store then create user slice and define your action and reducers here and export them and after that just uh, provide the provider okay just come here to the app.jsx okay this one just use this provider through your components okay to access this store to all the components can access that store and after that just use your these actions okay these methods and to set the data and also to get the data use the use selector for that so these tips were just in react redux toolkit i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and thanks for watching